So here I am in Outlook, and you'll notice that I have Copilot enabled for Outlook. So let's see what Copilot can do for us. One of the things right away that you'll notice is that you can have a summary by Copilot. So here's a rather lengthy email about, fictitiously, about reorganizing our department. I wrote that to myself for this demo. I click on Summarize by Copilot, and it summarizes that entire message for me. So that's very helpful from a summary perspective. Here's another email. I can have this email. It's advertisement, but I can have that summarized as well, telling me about a course that I can you know, get smarter and have all of that information. So that's really helpful from a very quick summarization of long emails. Another really helpful thing that you can do is if you click on Copilot, you can actually ask it to do certain things. So for example, I can say, please list my action items for the past week. And if I do that, it's going to then generate a list of all action items I need to do for the past week. Then it's gonna generate a list of all action items I need to do for the past week. So you can see here that based on 30 meetings, several emails in the past week, here are my action items. So it gives me action items for this, my department action items, instructional design restructuring action item, maybe curriculum mapping, proposal and contract work, you know, all kinds of information that it can give me. And I can draft follow-up emails, organize these into task trackers if I want to. Um, I can find out which actions are the most urgent. So it allows me to manage my email in that particular way. And here I can see the ones that are most urgent, medium urgency, and finally low urgency. So this is really helpful as you get lots of emails every day. Another thing that you can do is you can actually use it to write an email, and that can be very helpful as well. So let's go ahead and write an email using Outlook. So we click on New Mail, and now we're in our typical New Mail, and here is Draft with Copilot. I can click on that, and I can say, what do you want me to say? I can have a short and friendly message request information, give an update, make an announcement. I like this one, create a newsletter. So if I click on that, it's gonna give me a little prompt. And it's gonna say, what do you want? Well, maybe I wanna write, uh, let's say a three paragraph newsletter for let's say instructional uh, design students. And let's pick up the topic of gamification, one of my favorite topics. So we'll ask them about gamification and I'm gonna make the tone friendly, and it can go ahead and generate that particular newsletter. So it very quickly allows me to do that, and then I can say, you know, hope you're enjoying the summer. I wanted to share some exciting information about a trend that's revolving, and then I can keep that. I can add to it if I don't like the tone or adjustment. Well, I can discard it. I can have AI retry it, make it shorter or longer. Let's click on making it longer, and let's see what it does in terms of my newsletter. So it really quickly allows me to do this. Now, one interesting thing you'll notice, you see how it says, hope, uh, whoops, I'm gonna go back to Copilot. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. But see how it says, you know, hope you're enjoying the summer and over and out. Well, that and has bullets, that's very specific because I did a very specific thing in my email. So if you notice here, there's something that says customize drafts. So it's one thing to have AI just create your emails for you, but maybe it doesn't sound like you. So if you want it to sound more like you, or you have a certain style or tone that you do, if you click on Customize Drafts, you actually can go to Draft Instructions. So if you turn this off, you can see that you don't have the drafts. This is what it'll look like when you first come in. But if you click on this, it gives you the opportunity then to actually create instructions for Copilot for you to draft the email as you would like. So here you can see I, I want a certain tone. I want it to be conversational, friendly, but professional. I wanted a greeting appropriate to the season of the year, something like hope, and I gave it an example, hope you're enjoying the summer. Then I want the closing to vary. So I want to use sincerely for a serious message and over and out for fun messages. Uh, I want to keep the length about 200 and I use bullet points whenever possible. So having these custom instructions turned on and what you basically do that here, so let's delete this. Let's just start a new message and show you how that works. So if I click on new email and I click here on 
draft on the little co-pilot draft with co-pilot little co-pilot icon click on that scroll all the way to the bottom you'll have custom drafts click on that yours will be blank and then you just click on that and it has a little bit of filling in and then you fill it in and then all of your emails follow that construction. So let's try one. Let's um, write a serious email for um, students uh, late assignment. Okay, there we go. And we click on that and it's going to write the email for me. Hope you're enjoying your summer. I don't know if I would say that if it's a late assignment, uh, but notice it says it uses sincerely and it's using bullet points as well. Because if you'll recall, in custom drafts here i'm going to discard this and you recall it says you know if you're serious you know it's going to be sincerely so it knows that so it allows me to have some structure for my emails which is a really nice feature of copilot another thing that i can do with ms copilot and outlook is to use it to respond to email so let's look at this rather lengthy email about restructuring, you know, that I wrote, if you, if you recall, it talks about, you know, why restructuring is necessary, what's the vision, areas of transformation, proposed plan, and then actually some action items for me. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, let's, let's, uh, let's begin an AI audit. So I'm going to click on that. So Copilot knows what are some suggested drafts. I'm going to say begin an audit and it's going to write that email for me. It's going to go through that process look at that email and come up with something. So so again, there's my hope you're enjoying the summer. Again, maybe not always appropriate. So I, I can delete that as well. But now it says, you know, following on a discussion of restructuring, this is what I, I need to do. This one's probably more serious. So maybe I don't want over and out. Maybe I want um, best regards or something like that. And now I have this email that I can draft and I can even uh, use this to auto rewrite the email. I can even, which is really nice, get coaching. So this is something that not a lot of uh, people know about, but I can I can auto rewrite. Of course, that makes sense. But get coaching. What does that actually mean? So if you click on get coaching, it can analyze the email and then it's going to actually help you. So here it's saying, OK, we want to ensure positive, uh, you know, and motivating replace. It's clear with, you know, we need to start with, I believe we should start to sound more collaborative. It says, instead of identifying immediate integration points, how about try exploring exciting opportunities? So it's going to help me figure out what I need to do. Encourage team involvement. It's going to look at clarity and relevant details, what I need to do. So it actually looks at my email coaches me and says, hey, Carl, you know, I think you could do a better email and I can accept all of these. I can dismiss them if I want. I can work with them. So let's go ahead and let's say apply all the suggestions. So now the suggestions that it gave me before, it's going to put them into my email and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to replace my further one with that. And there I have it. So there is my email. So that's a really nice feature to have the coaching opportunity to respond to your email. So just that extra added, if you don't know what to write, don't know what to say, if you want to improve your email, that coaching is a huge help. So not only can Outlook help with your email, but it can also help with your calendar, you know, that's integrated into Outlook. So I can actually come over here to Copilot. I can click and I can say something like, what meetings do I have next week? And it will go through my calendar and actually pick out the meetings. Now, of course, I could look at my calendar, but the nice thing about this, is it gives me all concisely in one place, but it also asks me to prepare. And I might say, so it asked me here, would you like uh, help preparing for any of these meetings or want to RSVP? So I, I might say, yes, please help with GA meeting. And it's going to go look at whatever is on my calendar and give me information to prepare for that particular meeting. So it gives me the organizer. It tells me what it is, related materials that I might have for that particular meeting. And then I can actually help draft talking points. So I might say, um, yes, draft talking points. And the nice thing is it gives me these prompts so I don't even have to think about it. I can just say, yeah, I'm going to draft some talking points and it's going to go ahead and draft the talking points for me so that I can have these talking points for that particular meeting. And if I wanted to, 
after these meetings, I, I can uh, say, yeah, that's great. It looks great. It looks fantastic. I can actually copy this if I wanted to. I could then create a new email and I could actually put that information into my email. So now I have talking points for my email. The other thing that is really interesting is it gives me the references for those emails. So if I say, hmm, that's interesting. Let me click here for the reference and it's going to give me that I'm going to open it and it's going to give me that information from my SharePoint document. So it actually goes out for my meeting, helps me prepare, gives me the talking points and actually gives me the references for those particular talking points. So that's another really powerful tool with Microsoft Outlook that's really going to save you a lot of time. So good luck and have fun with Outlook.